the Angololo Dam or Angololo Multipurpose Project is located in the River Malaba. It's shared between Kenya and Uganda. Uh, the project is consists of a dam, a 30 meter dam, uh, that will irrigate, will give a command area of 3,800 uh, hectares shared between Kenya and Uganda. It will also generate energy, hydropower, uh, hydropower uh, from the dam, 1.2 megawatt. Uh, it also has a component of water supply for both Kenya and Uganda overall with a number of 270,000 people will be uh, served from the from the dam for water supply and it has also some other beneficial benefits like fisheries in the river uh, the feasibility study detailed design and tender documents uh, will be finalized in 2022 this year we also have an individual or a standalone Asia Arab which is the environmental and social impact assessment study and the resettlement action plan study for the dam. Up to now we conducted the inception report, we uh, engaged with the stakeholders in both Kenya and Uganda, uh, mainly in Tororo, Manafwa and Namasindwa in the Ugandan side and in Busia in the Kenyan side. Uh, we conducted the feasibility study. Now, originally we had six locations for the dam. The consultant has in, uh, investigated all the locations. There were two preferred locations, which is dam site five and dam site six. We presented it to the countries in a regional workshop. The countries decided that dam site five is the best location all among the, the six sites. Uh, dam site five is exactly uh, on the uh, Mela subcounty in Tororo in Uganda and in Osajai and Kamurai location in the Tiso north of Busia County in Kenya. For the irrigation, it will irrigate overall 3,876 hectares out of it. 1,965 will be in the Kenyan side and 1,911 hectare will be in the Ugandan side. As I mentioned, it will have a generation of 1.2 megawatt capacity that will generate 7,760 megawatt per hour. The project has a catchment area of 444 kilometers square. Usually, for transboundary projects, there is a period between the studies and the implementation. We are hoping to fast track this study, but it takes between one to two years to get funds from the financing agencies, such as the World Bank or the African Development Bank or others, to finance this project. So we are hoping that the project will be start the implementation in 2020, end of 2023 or early 2024, the implementation itself of the project, because the preparatory studies will end on 2022. Uh, from that, uh, we'll have, the proposal is to have a joint uh, project management unit between the two countries, Kenya and Uganda, to supervise the implementation of this project.